All right, so you're ready to start up. All right. Been waiting all day for this, okay? Three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Unsubscribe. I mean, okay, never mind. Cut that out, restart. Okay. Welcome back to the Redneck Country Podcast. My name is Clayton. I'm here with Connor. Okay, I got I got a question. You um you texted me the other day and said that Celsius was made of sewer water. So uh what what what's the story there? Hello. Correction, I, I said I I said that uh Celsius could be made of sewer water. It's not a for sure thing. There's a clip going around social media of this guy talking about Celsius and what's in Celsius. And uh, he said that Celsius has sewer water. They could be made with human waste. There's more information on it. Uh, I don't know if it's all true or not. Let me see if I can find it. It says here, human... Human sewage treatment plants. It is the waste from a human sewage treatment plant. It's called sludge. It's a foamy yellow sludge. They scrape it off the top, turn it into powder, ship it to a facility, and synthesize it with a metal and put it in your vitamins. So that's what they're claiming. Anyway, so he's claiming that, yeah, human... Human sewage could be involved with this, with Celsius's. And the reason I was interested by it was because I consume a lot of Celsius's, more than I should probably. And uh, I pretty much quit drinking Celsius's now. I drank one last night because this guy here, he was like, Hey, you want to do the podcast at 8 o'clock? I go get my Celsius. I was kind of tired, so I, I drank a Celsius. 8 o'clock comes around, I look, he, he deleted the message, and he didn't text back to like 9.30 or something. You were gone for a while and got back late, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I drove out to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and drove back the same day. It's about a four-hour drive one way, so that's eight hours of straight driving. It's over four hours, actually, so it's more like nine hours of driving. So, yeah, I was pretty tired. Have you ever heard of a Celsius energy drink? Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four times, that's just one sample. So drink Monster or Bang. I mean, drink Bang, not, not Monster or Celsius, right? <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin, this has cyanocobalamin. So, and, and we wonder what, you know, we're putting these toxic chemicals. This is, you know where we get the hydrogen cyanide? Don't make me take you to that website because you'll just get up and leave. Do you know where we would get hydrogen cyanide? Because these facilities that actually compound this B12, they don't even pay for the hydrogen cyanide. You know where they get it? Human sewage treatment plants. It is the waste from a human sewage treatment plant. It's called sludge. It's foamy yellow sludge. They scrape it off the top, they dry it, turn it into a powder, ship it to a facility, synthesize it with a metal, and put it in your vitamins. They take metal, hydrogen cyanide, and put it in our supplements. So when you get home tonight, I want you to take all of your supplements and protein powders, spin them around, look for that word cyanocobalamin, and if it has it, throw it in the trash. Okay, I, I messaged you today um, a little earlier um, about if you want to talk about the the draft bill that went through, and you said you never heard nothing about it. That's what this guy's claiming. Basically, Congress has passed a bill that will give the government the ability to draft people for the military. The government has the ability to just, what does that mean, force you? I mean, they've done it plenty of times, military drafts, like during World War II and stuff, but... Yeah, they, they passed the bill, and I mean, why would they pass it if they, they don't intend on using it, you know? Yeah, why are they trying to pass a bill like that? Do they uh, plan to go to war anytime soon? Who knows? I mean, a little while ago, um, Russia, threat, uh, Putin, I guess, threatened us that, yeah, he'd nuke America if we don't back out of the Ukraine war. Yeah, Vladimir's gonna nuke us. Yeah, we still keep shipping all of our taxpayer dollars over there. 
So nope. But yeah, so they passed that bill. And apparently they've had they've been having a little trouble with that because I mean the bill they passed this bill and it gives the ability to draft eighteen to twenty four year year old men. And they kind of they run into a problem with that is because you know how the world our country is right now. I mean, you got men, you got men who are identifying as women and whatever else they're identifying as. So they kind of run into this problem. If they're only getting men, what about all these other people? Or should they be drafted too or not? And yeah, apparently they're kind of running into issues there because. If they state that they're only going to draft men, but they still draft all these people who identify as other stuff, then they're kind of, you know, they're they're going against what they support because our government is going full in and supporting the whole pride movement movement and stuff. So they they kind of running running into issues, and so apparently now Congress is debating whether or not they're going to extend the the draft to not only include men, but everybody, including women and, yeah, everything else, too. That's uh, one way for them to make sure they get all the, the men, huh? <laughs> and that are real biological men. <laughs> yeah, sign them up. Sign them up. Get in line. I'd love to see a, a trans man out there trying to, um, uh, trying to, um, you know, take down, you know, Vladimir Putin or something. Vladimir Putin's militia. You know, the whole feminist movement, that kind of, that kind of brought this forward too, is because, you know, they got all these, these feminists claiming that women and men are equal. Women can do anything that man can do. So the government looking at this and like, okay, well, you're, you're going to get drafted too. You could be a trans raccoon identifying as a man and you get drafted. So let's just say a raccoon. Raccoon wants to be a man. Oh, you're drafted. The U.S. can use you. I, I forgot to mention this, but for the cel on the Celsius, back on the Celsius thing, uh... The reason I believe that Celsius has sewer water in it is because I go into, I went into two gas stations, two gas stations. The first time I went in, I bought, a, I wanted to buy one Celsius. I go to pay, and the, the first time there's this black lady there at the cash register, and she's like, you know, if you you buy, if you buy two more, you can get that one for free. And I was like. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. You get yeah, and then she was like, "Yeah, you can get three for five dollars." <laughs> and I was like, Man, "That sounds like a deal." And she said something about that's a deal you can't pass up. And I was like, "Yeah." And then I went and got I went back and got two more and paid five dollars and uh and then a couple days later I went to another gas station to buy one Celsius and they and then the lady there is like. You know, and this is after I heard about the sewage water in it. The second time I go in, and I was like, oh, I don't really believe that. I'm just going to buy a Celsius. So I went and bought a Celsius. And the lady at the cash register was like, oh, if you buy, you know you can get, if you buy one, you can get two. If you buy three, you get one for free. And I was like, no, I'm good. Just one. I'll, I'll just buy this one. She's like, you sure? That'd be, that's a pretty good deal. And uh, I'm not as... Uh, I'm not as, uh, bold as I am on here, and, uh, so, uh, I was just like, yeah, sure. So I went back and got another, got two more Celsiuses, and, yeah, and, uh, I have one that I'm debating on drinking or not. That's why I think they're trying to sell it, like, giving away, if you buy two, you get one for free. Which, honestly, it's not that great of a deal, is it? I mean, it's a better deal. But, I mean, you're still paying $5 for three drinks. Yeah. Because it ain't on any other drink you buy, either. I mean, you go buy a rainstorm? Nope. You buy one, you pay... You want to buy three, you're paying ten bucks.
little kid. Hey, by the way, I got a new gun. Hey, hey, hey. Is it, where you be getting these from? I don't actually have it yet, but I will have it soon, pretty soon. The problem is I live in the, the great state of Illinois where their motto is Land of Lincoln, except I'm pretty sure they're trying to change it to Let's Outdo California. Because right now, the gun laws in Illinois are actually worse than in California. Which is kind of surprising, honestly. Illinois has some strict, Illinois has some strict gun laws. Don't believe us? Look them up. It's hard to buy a gun there. I don't know how you're doing it. Well, honestly, it's, it's not hard at all. Um, it, it's really just like every other state. You go there, fill out the background check, and then you get the gun. Except in Illinois, you have to go in, do the background check, but it could be three to ten days before it'll actually clear and you can go pick up your gun. See, it shouldn't be like that. Three to ten days. You know, I have a, I have a funny story to tell. So... There's this YouTube channel I used to be big into. It was called Shooting Gear Reviews. And I used to comment on it all the time. And I commented on it on time. And I got a comment back from the Shooting Gear Reviews saying, you know how you get these scam messages on YouTube comments sent from like these comments saying like, they're saying like they're the, act, they're the YouTube channel that you're commenting on, but it's really not. And, uh, yeah, I got one. I got one a while ago. It was from Luke Bryan. He said, "He said, thanks for for y'all for all your support." I, I thought it was him. So stupid. Such a scam. Also, I got a, I got a notification a while ago that Hardy was following us. I go check that out. I was like, man, that's cool. And it's a scam. Of course, it's a scam. So stupid. Yeah, right. Hardy's gonna be following us. But anyways, so uh, I comment on this video, and I got a reply back, and uh, I was dumb, and I thought that it was this guy, because it looked like his profile, and it said shooting gear reviews. So then he said, if you, he had a number, you know the number, and it said if I message that number, you will have a chance to win a free what was it? Any gun of your choice. And this was, these were air guns. Like any air gun. Like, you know, pellet, you know. And I can't, I did it. I, and I, and he, then I got a reply back saying I won. And he's like, yeah, you just want a free gun. I was messaging this guy. And we ended up saying like, yeah, this, it's a free gun. Just, uh, let me know what gun store you would like me to ship it to in your area. So he was gonna ship it to a gun store, and I was like, "Yeah," and I told him the gun store, and he was like, "Yeah, that's gonna be like a hundred and some dollars to, sh <laughs> to ship it," and that was like more than the gun was even worth. It was like way over a hundred dollars, and uh, I was like, "No, sorry, buddy, we're done here. Bye." I was pretty dumb, still am. Don't be like me and think, you know, oh, I can win a free gun. <laughs> Get a free gun. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah. For a, for a small fee. <laughs> you know what's best? If you get a message like that, don't click the link. First of all, just don't click the link. That's a bad idea. I mean, you might end up getting hacked or something like that. I get those, I get those uh, text messages all the time. I get a random text that says, your package cannot be delivered. And there'll be a link where you open up the link and it, so you're supposed to, supposedly, um, your package, uh, you have to pay for a special shipping fee. And then you have to go to this link and fill out a ton of information like your name, address, email, phone number, credit card number, social security number, and they'll ship you the package. Yeah, don't don't fill that don't fill that stuff out, okay? Um uh, go go check out our other podcast episodes. 
Cooter did that, and he got in some big trouble because of it. What's on the news? You're about to find out. We don't know, but Jimbo knows. Hey everybody, my name is Jimbo, and as always, you're watching Live News with Jimbo. So I got some very, very interesting news for you guys today. Cool, where are you at? So I am in a desert somewhere near Las Vegas, and let me just tell you, it is scorching out here. Hope you're staying hydrated, Jimbo. Don't worry guys, I always got the liquids. Nothing like a cold Celsius on a nice hot day. Nothing like Celsius. Highly recommend. Uh, should we tell him? Yeah, I mean, it could be harmful for your health. Tell me what? What are you guys talking about? Well, there's a theory going around that says Celsius is using human waste. Ah, you'll probably be fine, Jimbo. I mean, I had a dog that drank toilet water, and it was fine. Until a couple of days when it died. That's pathetic! Alright, Jimbo, what's happening on the news? Okay, so... <clears throat> so, a Las Vegas Metro Search and Rescue Team have discovered a mysterious monolith, uh... In this very desert, it is a mirrored structure that they claim could be alien activity. So you believe in aliens, Jimbo? Well, that's a very good question, but here's the deal. For me, uh, I seen this reel on Instagram one time, and it was talking about if you walk into a room and you lose track of why you just walked in that room, it means you... Uh, just encountered an alien and they had to erase your memory for them to escape and pretty much every time I walk into a room I lose track of why I walked in that room and that really makes me think and also it's a reel on Instagram so it's got to be true you watch a lot of Instagram reels Jimbo definitely they're so inf they're so informative inform <laughs> So, what else do you know? Well, this is not the first time a mirrored structure like this has a mysteriously appeared. I believe uh, it appeared in California, Utah, New Mexico, and Romania. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Alright guys, I gotta go find some water. I don't like the idea of having human waste in my mouth. Take care and I'm out of here. I gotta go find some water. Take care, Jimbo. Take care. We're heading into halftime with Cooter. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what he's got for us today. Welcome back to Halftime with Cooter. My name's Cooter, and I'm doing halftime. Now, today, I got a letter from our subscribers I'm gonna read. Cooter, where, where do you get a letter from our subscribers? Jimbo stole it out of Connor's mailbox. Wait, what? Dear Clayton and Connor, Your podcast is awesome, but let's be honest. You guys are terrible at doing this stuff. And I think you should let Cooter and Jimbo take over. Signed, Limbo, and Scooter. I think that's pretty good. What do y'all think? Uh, Cooter, no, no. Most definitely not. You are not taking over the podcast. Oh, come on, man. I think this is a good idea. Uh, Cooter, you got anything else for us? Well, I got a few jokes I can tell again. Okay, listen, Cooter. Um, uh, I think it's best if you just stick with the jokes from now on. I I'd say that's pretty good. As I get older, I think about all the people I lost along the way. Maybe a career as a tour guide wasn't the best idea. You're not completely useless. You make the perfect bad example. My boss told me to have a good day, so I went home. Teamwork is always important. It always helps to put the blame on somebody else. A patient said, I'm just so nervous. This is my first operation. 
the doctor said. I know, mine too. Well, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for having me on the podcast. And I'll see you next week. Now it's time for Did You Know? In 1895, there were only two cars in the entire state of Ohio, yet they still ended up crashing into each other. Did you know that I forgot to get Did You Know facts? All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap this one up. I hope you got some out of this podcast. And uh, I uh, opened up my Bible app as usual. And uh, the verse of the day is Hebrews 4, 9. Consequently, there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. I really need to start uh, looking up verses. These verses are sh- kind of shallow. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I just like, what is this guy reading? Is he reading out of some kind of, you know? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share to a lot of people and tell them to like and subscribe because we we need those subscribers. Um, And we'll see you next time. And in our favorite clip says this. Do it! Do it. This guy is acting a bit strange. I think we're going to have to cut this one out. Bye. And because I don't want to have to edit any more out. Bye. Bye. Later, Gators.